and we're students at Staffordshire University. Today we're going to talk about green issues and I'd like to introduce you to my team. Jasmine, Anisha, Yura, Smira, Sandra, and together we're James. Sustainability and green issues has become a rising concern in businesses and everyday life. We've decided as a team to see how green issues can affect student life and ways in which we can make our university greener. Hi guys, my name is Anisha and I'll be talking about transport. How to save energy when commuting to university? Well guys, there are many ways this can be done. The first way is to share vehicles. Many students, like yourselves, travel into university with your own car and by yourself. A good way to save energy would be to fit all five people in one car. This can also mean you'll be saving energy at the same time. As you can see in this diagram, the car is highlighted red. This means that the car is producing the most waste and saving less energy. Another way to save energy would be to walk to university. Many students live close to university, so it would be ideal for them to uh, walk to university. This can mean they can get their daily exercise and also save energy at the same time. Cycling is another way to save energy. By cycling to university, no energy would be wasted. This is a great idea and also Staffordshire University encourages students to do this. Staffordshire University holds many shelters so um, students can cycle to university and place the cycle there while studying. As you can see in this image, the cycle is highlighted in green. This means that the um, cycle is producing no waste and saving the most energy. Using public transport. Using public transport when commuting to university is a really good idea. This can mean that it can save energy and also fit more people into buses. Staffordshire University holds many bus stops outside the university, so it means that it is, uh, students can easily access it. Hi, my name is Jasmine. I'm here today to talk to you about procurement. We're all aware of the environmental issues like global warming and pollution, but what we do not realize is how our daily activities affect these environmental problems. Procurement is a purchase of goods and services for our daily use. When we're buying things, we think about the cost, we think about the quantity, and we think about the quality. But we need to bear in mind the location, the manufacturing process, and the ethical issues behind the products or service that we purchase. Staffordshire University is a large purchaser in goods and services, and they're a large consumer in paper, in stationery, in IT consumables, in wood, and in furniture. They source their materials from companies like Loreco UK and Team Supplies. These two companies look at ways in which they can reduce their environmental problems. Team Supplies, for example, supplies Staffordshire with toner cartridges, which are 90% recyclable through refurbishing. As students, what can you do to help the environment when you're purchasing? You can, add, you can actually apply the Staffordshire principle, five greens a day principle, which is to buy fairly traded goods, to buy products with environmentally friendly logos on, to look at whole life cost. And that means if you go into a shop and you see a normal light bulb and an energy efficient bulb, you should go for the energy efficient bulb because in the long run, it's going to save energy, it's, going, it's not going to cost the environment, and it's also going to save you money. You should also look at reducing um, how much things you actually dispose of. So if you've got magazines, if you've got bags, you can reuse shopping bags and things like that. And thank you for listening to my presentation. Hi, my name is Aram, and I will talk about procurement. Staff University purchase goods for their uni shop and universe through NUSSL. NUSSL means the National Union of Student Service Limited. Staff University will have strong buying power. The benefits of buying through NUSSL is that they supply all student union shops and bars of down the country. NUSSL also have a dedicated ethical and environment department. They ensure that they engage themselves with an ethical questionable practice such as Coca-Cola. When the university cannot get projects through NUSSL, they have other options such as local fair trade. Before buying any goods, Staff University takes into account that they make commitments to recycle and reduce 
carbon footprint. So they always take this into account when buying anything for venues, shops, or offices. Thank you for this. Hi guys, my name is Samira, and today I'm going to be talking about waste. In the UK, 36 million tonnes of waste was created in the years 2004 to 2005. 30 million tonnes of this was just from households. This is the waste hierarchy. There are many different ways of disposing of waste. The hierarchy shows us these from the most environmentally friendly to the least environmentally friendly. Prevention. This is reducing the waste that is being produced in the first place. Reuse. As a student, you can reuse your shopping bags and not just get rid of them when you come back from shopping. Come home, save them, and then you can use them again the next time you go shopping. Recycle. Simply put old items like tin cans, glass bottles into your recycle bin. Keep these next to your normal bin so that you remember to recycle the next time you take the waste out. These items will then be taken to make something new, like paper, books, clothes, or shoes. Energy recovery. This is creating energy from waste, like burning waste material to make electricity. Disposal. Burying rubbish in a landfill. This is most definitely the worst option of all. This is what happens to waste when it is not recycled and we want to reduce the amount of waste that is being not recycled. So therefore, more, more information go to directgov.co.uk. And I'm going to talk to you about energy. Nowadays, energy has a great impact in our lives. We are using it in our homes or in our organizations. It seems to be impossible to work and to live without using the great resource of the energy. Now I'm going to explain to you the ways in which you can use energy efficiently in the halls. This way we can benefit from it as well as the environment because you students will be saving money and the next generation will get a clean environment. In the halls of resident, we can reduce our energy consumptions by recycling the products of paper, plastic and organic bins. Furthermore, by using environmentally friendly light, for example, the energy efficient lightning against the normal light bulb is much more effective because it needs less electricity, about 20%, and is working 10 times longer than the old traditional bulb. The fridge it consumes a lot of electricity, which costs about 50 pounds per year. By saving, by leaving the fridge door closed, never putting hot food into it, never leaving the fridge temperature on the highest level, and during the holidays, especially the students who will be going away during the Christmas holidays, they should clear out the fridge and turn it off because it won't use it at this particular time. For the stove, you should use pots which are made for the hub and you should use the lid when cooking your food because it saves energy. In the winter time, it gets cold, meaning we often have to turn the temperature out of our heaters up. We can save energy by putting the heat controller off when we are leaving the room. The, wind the windows should also be closed while the heat is up. What we've learned today is that the best way to reduce waste is by preventing, minimising and reusing items. The worst way is by disposal, as it just ends up in landfill sites. Walking to uni and cycling is the most energy efficient way to commute to university. The least energy efficient is by taking the car. If you must use a car, make sure you fill the car up to its maximum capacity. To save energy in our accommodations, we can turn off lights when not using them, only put on the heating when we're in the room and cover pots when cooking. We can also go greener by recycling. Thank you for listening to our presentation and we hope this encourages you to go greener. Let's move. Hey, hey, hey.